At times, your dreams of moving to Canada becomes a memory right because you need to get a job in Canada before you are permitted to migrate. What still, getting a job in Canada while in your home country is quite difficult because Canadian employers are required to get a positive labor market impact assessment before they are allowed to bring a foreigner to come and work for them. Thankfully, I've got good news for you. What if I tell you that you do not need an LMIA, IALTS, not even age limit is a restriction, you don't need to waste time waiting for your application, no higher level of education is required, so your high school education is enough, and you can move to Canada within a few weeks. I know that this sounds impossible, but if I were you, I will sit back and watch as I unveil the program through which you can achieve this. Just before we proceed to the business of the day, if this is your first time on our channel or you are a returning viewer, welcome. Please click on the subscribe button below to subscribe and click on the bell icon to be alerted anytime we publish a new video. The International Mobility Program IMP, is an immigration program that permits Canadian employers to hire temporary foreign workers to come and work in Canada without a need for a Labor Market Impact Assessment LMIA. It may interest you to know that the application and processing time are easier and faster when compared to the Temporary Foreign Worker program. By the way, if you need to know more about the Temporary Foreign Worker, click on the link in the comment section to get all the information you need. Some of the Canadian immigration programs that are characterized under the International Mobility Programs are 1. International Free Trade Agreement 2. Graduate Work Permits Program 3. Reciprocal Youth Exchange Program 4. Intra-Company Transfer Program 5. Circumstances of Social or Cultural Benefit to Canada 6. Bridging Open Work Permits The next question on your mind is how do I know I am qualified to apply for the International Mobility Program? If you fall under the following categories, then you are qualified. 1. If you are moving to Canada on an open work permit. Under the International Mobility Program, this type of work permit allows a person to work for any employer for a specified period of time. Although an open restricted permit may restrict the holder from working in any location of their choice, however, he or she can work for any employer. Interestingly, you can apply for an open work permit outside of Canada at the port of entry or where you have arrived in the country. You may want to scroll through our videos to get all the information you need about an open work permit. 2. Moving to Canada as part of trade treaties like the Canada-United States-Mexico Agreement, popularly known as CUMSA, or Economic Trade Agreement, CETA. 3. Moving to Canada as intra-company transferees. How to apply for International Mobility Program Before you can apply for this program, an employer will have to first submit an official job offer through the IMP Employer Portal. A certain employer is expected to meet the requirements for hiring a foreign worker through this program, including paying all the required fees. Having successfully done this, the employer can proceed to offer you a job through the IROCC employer portal. Another way through which you can apply for IMP is if your company has a branch in Canada, you can simply request to be transferred to Canada to work through the IMP. If your application is approved, you will be issued a letter of introduction, LOI, and work permit. But in case you live in Canada already or applied when you entered Canada, your LOI will be exchanged for a work permit. Sadly, having just a work permit isn't enough for you to enter Canada. In case you're outside the country, you need to obtain a business visa from the Electronic Travel Authorization to be allowed to enter the country. Also, you may need to undergo a medical examination during your application process depending on the location where you previously lived and the type of work you have to do in Canada. Once you have obtained your work permit and business visa from the ETA, congratulations, you cannot migrate to Canada. In addition to this, you must know that your job experience, whether part-time or full-time jobs that are not time zero, will be considered. Interestingly, after a year of working in Canada, you can apply for permanent residency through the Canadian Express Class CEC or the Express Entry Program. And if you are successful, you'll be able to move to Canada with your family and independence via the International Mobility Program and even include them in your PR application. With the information I've given to you in this video, you now know that you can enter Canada without an LMIA. I hope you enjoy watching the video and also got the information that you need. Thanks for watching and see you next time.